Hey, it's cool here. If you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where we are playing Lufia 2. Attack, o Attack on Titan. Uh, last time, we ended up in uh, Escarito here. Or Escarito. Anyway. Uh, unfortunately, Alexis has left us because he has some pollution problems to take care of. Um, I also might have forgotten to actually save at the end of the last session, so I didn't have to do the um, Mountain of No Return section again, but uh, that wasn't too big of a deal. Except that I had to do it twice because I accidentally <laughs> dropped the weapon that you got. Uh, rather than remove it from someone, I just got rid of it without any confirmation. Any who's it's, let's go to the shrine in the southwest, I want to say. You do not look like a fox, sir. Wow, this is uh, already kind of a rough fight, and Selin's on Death's Door, and Maxim's on Death's Door. It's great! Oh, and these guys are taking a lot of hits. Wow. What? Oh boy. Um... I only have four explosions. So let's hope that these high potions go off. Yeah, this guy is too fast for that. Unfortunately, he didn't kill anyone, but also we're not going to kill him because Okay, maybe we are. Thank you, guy. Wow, though. So that we might be a little um, under leveled for this area, just a thought. There goes Garf. For some reason, I am now thinking of robot dinosaurs that shoot beans when they were. And how the uh, the T Rex character in that is called Tyrannosaurus X. Careful, you don't cut yourself on that edge. Okay, here we are at the Spirit Shrine, and hopefully we don't die. We definitely are going to need to get some experience, though. I don't know what the um, recommended level for the next boss is, though, so we'll have to see. Also, I just realized I don't have the stream chat up on the side here, and hello, Tyrion. Remember to let rise your sinistrals a couple of hours before baking. Ooh, hello. I am gonna have to, like, heal after every single fight in her way.
And fortunately, we still have that, um... Oh, okay. You get to attack three times. You also get to attack the same character three times. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, fortunately, we still have that uh, diamond axe. Which, uh, is, I think, is going to serve us well. Oh boy, this is what we're doing, huh? This is basically Hookshot Cave. And just to, just to test this out. Yeah, we, we won't fall to the little area. This appears to be a dead end. The question is, which way do we go first? There's so many different paths. Oh dear. I don't think this was the correct path. Also like this droning death march music is great. Now should that be pushed up or down? It's hard to know for sure. But I think it needs to be pushed possibly. It's fine. Uh, what monster we got active? Currently it is Garf. And uh, it, if you don't remember which one Garf is, um, it's the, this werewolf dude. Might be getting a, a change of roster, which will be enforced for. I guess I didn't set a time. Let's say at least one hour. Yeah, okay, well, that did that. No one said Garf. Like if uh, if there's no active uh, game changer, I get to pick whoever gets on. Oh, you mean who who decided on the name? No one decided on the name, so I picked one myself. The, the answer is, on both counts, nobody. Well, I guess I picked 
the name and then picked to use Garth. So... Hello, it me, I'm nobody. Oh dear. Mood indeed. Bye, Garf. <laughs> no, I don't I don't think that Garf has a field. Open. Yes, it is. That gives us the heart. This sure is a room. Okay, so let's make this our destination. Well, we'll have to come from here, and from here, from here. So we have to be able to get over here, and then we need to be able to get up onto this platform. Can I push this down? Is that a thing that I can do? I don't know if it'll help. Me. At the very least, I can't do it with the hammer. I probably can't just push it down myself. Okay, no, yeah, that lets us go on the other side of this. Potential. Yeah, okay. Like that. Uh, then from there... Huh? to this and get in first somehow. Oh. 
actually happen. Well, at least these guys are slow. Does name Garf have any story? No. Thanks for giving me the weapon for a character that's no longer in my party. He definitely looks like a Garf. I know, right? So that is that button. Let's just get down there. Open up this box with a rocket ring. And that that room resets, so we have to go here. But hey, we got a ring. That was incorrect. Other thing that I can do in this room after killing some more of these guys is um, there was a crack in the bottom right. Another battle driver, another weapon that I don't need, thanks. Uh, is the ring good? That is a good question, and I should probably be checking. Um, it is, oh, it is a big agility upgrade, actually. And it is a straight upgrade for Maxim. Uh, I, yeah, no, Maxim is my agility den. Like, he is my speedy quick character. Okay, so that puts us... Oh, that puts us here. Okay. And basically, like, Maxim's my agility dumb. Um, Guy is my, you know, strength and attack dumb. Uh, Selen is the, um, the magic dumb. And then... Character number four is miscellaneous. It definitely can be a good thing for a healer to go consistently last. As we learn from playing Legend of Agaia. Where we had big muscle men do all of our healing because he was lost. guy first. Ooh. Yikes. 
That was, that was uh, strong enough to take out Garth. Someone in a speedrun really wanted to kill these ones. Well, it seems like if someone in the speedrun really wants to kill these, maybe it's for the Wind Jewel that I just randomly got for no reason. <laughs> Yeah, that's even more agility. Look at that. Just out agility everyone. Well, that's unsettling. Yeah, agility and defense for sure. Kind of funny that a speedrunner would be uh, would be fighting those like maybe for like five minutes just to try to get that one item that I got completely effortlessly. <laughs> That's for an ancient cave thing. Yeah, I'm not really sure how that would help with ancient cave, because like you you don't really want um, attack power for ancient cave. Well, for the last boss of ancient cave. I, you want attack power, you don't really care too much about, like, agility and stuff like that. We can just stay right there for a second while I get surprise attacked by these golems. We take out Garf immediately. I have a dozen JRPGs to beat already. Understandable, I mean, most of these take, you know, upwards of 40, 60, 80 hours, depending on the game. I know typically, like, when it comes to myself and, I guess, let's heal up now. When it comes to myself right now, like, I consider a game to have been worth it if I get at least a dollar an hour. So if, uh, so if it takes me 80 hours to beat a game, and I paid $80 for it, then it will probably have been worth it. Also, hi Timmy, how you doing? Actually wasn't expecting a whole lot of people today, but we got at least three. Oh, cockatrices. Yeah, this is uh, Lufia 2. The sequel to Lufia 1, if you can believe that. Um, actually, no, it's not a sequel. It's a prequel to Lufia 1. What am I talking about? This happens 90, in 99 years before Lufia 1. Just at work, how about you? I'm uh, doing pretty good. Um, let's see. I went to see the, uh, the new Ghostbusters movie with my friend today. It's 
pretty good. I will, I will say this because apparently it's in one of the trailers, but um, at one point you get to see Janine in uniform, like in uh, Ghostbusters uniform. I'm not going to elaborate on the context, but I am told that it is in one of the trailers. I have not seen any of the trailers for the movie. I, I went in completely uh, without any foreknowledge of what was going to be in the movie, and I quite enjoyed it. What movie? The, the new Ghostbusters movie, Frozen Empire. There is a new Ghostbusters movie. I think it came out like a couple of weeks ago, from my understanding. Yeah, I, I honestly didn't hear much about it either, like, I was vaguely aware that there was a new Ghostbusters movie and that's about it. Famous art film here was Voluminum Man. Oh, Iron Man? Is that what you meant? They are men. But yeah, um, since I came to Halifax, there have been three new Ghostbusters movies, and I have seen all three of them. Hey, there's a dragon egg! I was worried that I was gonna miss one of these, because, uh, Zero will not be joining us today. So he would not have been able to tell me that, uh, I missed one. Molybdenum well, immense. As Billy West might say, manganese! Another battle driver? Like, what, what even is the point? There is literally no point in having more than one of them. And now I have, like, three of them. At least it seems to imply that we're going to get Lexus back at some point, or at least an option to get it back. Another one, geez. Yeah, I wonder if, um, press the right buttons. I wonder if you're interested in eating any of these. 
Because I have like four now. Eh, for two points, I think I can do better than that. The old Ghostbuster film with William Murray? I, I, oh, Bill Murray. <laughs> you, you, you're using some, uh, some names. Now, Bill Murray does show up in, uh, yes, Garth. Bill Murray does show up in uh, the new Ghostbusters movies. Um, the the one that came out in like 2016 or 17 ish. Uh, I think he's just there as kind of a um, side character kind of deal, like not as his actual um, Ghostbuster Sona. But um, the two latest ones, he actually does show up as uh, as uh, Peter Venkman. Will you now open that door? Through this door is the spirit room whose concentrated energy gives power to the mind. Do you really think I would open it for uh, that? I would open the door for the likes of you with your wicked heart. Hmm. Will you choose to open it and live? Or not, and be killed. You have my answer already. I cannot open this door. Then why is it you did not resist and let me kidnap you? Is it true that, I, that had I resisted then you would have harmed the people in my village? Besides... Besides? This is where I can use my power to its fullest. I expected as much. But do you really believe you can defeat me with your paltry powers? I do not know, but at least I can assure you that, it that you will not escape unscathed. No, Karen! If you release your power in this place, your life... It's you people again! Why do you sh why do you fall on me like stupid tiny flies? What did you say? I will not let you live this time. No more mercy. Ah, what power? Why are they gonna reboot Alf? I do remember Alf. For a while he was back in bog form. What? Ye being of wicked heart, out! Depart forthwith from this sacred place! Why... Why this much... Power! K Karen! No! Karen! Martea... Karen, why did you do this? You knew. You knew what would happen. Yet even my life is not enough to defeat them. You are the only. Our hope. Our... I know. I know, Karen. Our... Our tail. Please look after my Milka for me. So that was the one. Yes, that was Abby. Please let me go with you. That evil, I must destroy it. Don't think I even introduced myself. I'm Maxim. Guy. My name's Guy. I'm Seven. I'm Ortea. Ortea, you will risk life and limb in this battle. You have no idea what it's like. I cannot imagine going back fighting without fighting now for Karen and Milka. I understand. Fine, we'll do this together then. Artea becomes a comrade! I'm Maxim, this guy's guy.
I like Guy. He's a pretty cool guy. He's so strength and doesn't afraid of anything. The attributes of all the members increase. I know that just straight up gave us a level or like more stats or more. I think I might have just leveled this up because like... Not, I'm not seeing any like considerable stat increases. Also I just realized like... Guy is like barbarian core. Look at these stats. Like every everyone else has some kick to them, but like guy is just like mega beef and nothing else. But then again, like it's not like he can cast anything. He's the guy for it. <laughs> Anyway, I don't think there's anything else, so let's get out of here. Super chicken for the road, I guess. Artea, where is my mother? I'm so sorry. I couldn't save her. Oh no. No. Forgive me. I failed you. Artea. Look, I am so sorry. Please forgive me. J-Pop, hey! Wasn't expecting you to make it today. Is my mother able to be of any help to you, Artea? Just saying hi. Just got, gotta keep your, your, your stream streak going despite the fact that I turned those off on this channel. Because <laughs> I don't like FOMO tactics. Well, say say hi to everyone for me. Yes, if she had not released her power there, I'd be alive. My mother saved you, didn't she? I'm sure she can rest peacefully with that. I'm maybe stream streaks give points, but I'm like, eh. Hi, donut. Hi, Zero, who it may or may not be there. It hasn't been established, but I imagine probably so, because y'all you know, being together and all family-like and stuff for uh, all donuts uh, in town. Are all elves that emotionally strong? They're not stronger than humans, guy. She was crying, you know. Human or elf, sorrow is solid. Okay, so they're still taking they're still talking about uh, that scene event. I don't have fry, I can afford it. And only Arte I can use it. That's pretty great. Uh, do I have the best equipment available? Uh, that's too much of a trade off. I 
definitely got some upgrades here. Interesting that there's these two here. Both of them have IPs, so... That doesn't have an IP now. Uh, that's too much trade-off. This trade-off is a little more worth it than the shield that we came across before. I'll go with that. That is definitely not worth it. That goes last always anyway, exactly. I guess it, his agility doesn't matter, like he has he has the finishing blow, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Pump this up to 10. Um... Did anyone tell us where to go? Like, the only direction that anyone has actually said is this. When it's out of the shrine and into the northwestern sea. So, like, it's basically just get on the boat. And in order to summon the boat over here, you would need to use warp. And since we need to use warp anyway, maybe we go to Portravia and go check on Nexus? Then again, I didn't see the boat outside of Portravia, so like, I'm guessing Lexus took it. Farming's west of here. I guess Barnum's probably where to go. By the way, J-Pop, if you're still there, check the Smash TV channel. The one on your server. Excellion move, okay. I believe this is the correct move. Excellion's been remodeled. You can submerge by pressing the a button while at the while at sea. By the way, I didn't catch your name yet, Elf. I'm Martin. I'm Lexus. I'm sorry for the use. I never thought the lab would cost such a buck. As long as you understand, as long as you understand that it's okay. Besides, you solved the problem. Well, that's the least I can do. Maxim, what happened to Amon? Seems like he went back under the sea. People in the city also saw the ball of light go under near Barton. That might have been it. I see. Barton's west of the sea. Maxim, it's all up to you now. I know. It's going to be obvious when you actually get to, uh... When you actually look at the channel. And don't say anything about it here. What is a button? Well, turns out a button is the... A button. What's this hole? Well, we found the Shrine of Vengeance. Maybe we go to Barnum first, though, and uh, see if they have any upgrades there.
Uh, votes. Yeah, I definitely went to Barman. You won't see it for 12 hours? Damn. Well, your brother saw it, and I think your sister saw it too, and they seem to like it. So... At the very least, they can probably describe it to you. This is the only place you can shop. The only place in the entire world where you can trade money for items. There is no other place. If you think there's some other place, they're liars! Unfortunately, I can't afford anything. Also, all of this armor is all upgrades too, so that's great. There doesn't seem to be any fights uh, underwater, so that's good. I think this was the hole. Yeah, well... Oh well. I'll survive, I'm sure. Really what I should have done during the last week is, um... Uh, Upgrade all of my capsule monsters to, to uh, rank 3, or even 4. Like, considering the fact that I tested this, like, I have now officially tested both ways to see, like, if I can transfer the save RAM from the computer to the 3DS running SNES 9X and back to the computer, and it appears to work without any problems both ways. Like, I can literally just do that any time. And yet, I didn't. The only, the only thing that I did was, uh... Ah, crap. Oh, and it's these guys, too. But, well, no, these aren't as bad as I... as the views that I thought this was. I do need to... Oh, that was a big hit. This guy is called Death. I am willing to bet he probably has a one-hit kill. And also mirrors on the first turn. Uh, I'm gonna have you cast Courage. Uh, not Courage, Champion.
Man, it, it is good that Maxim, who has, you know, the, the highest agility, also has the strongest heal. Because, like, it's... It means that unless we're up against an incredibly fast enemy, we can get some uh, emergency heals first turn. What's over here? Oh, that's okay. That was just the way back. I feel like I tried healing undeads in the last game and it didn't work. I don't know if it works in this game. Are you sure? Because if you're sure, we can give it a try. Okay. Well, we'll probably run into some more undeads at some point. But for now, we'll deal with Tyrannosaurus X! Well, that was rude. Please do not eat my capsule monster. That's... that's uncalled for. Selling. Well, this guy's probably a dead. Well, no, actually, no. Probably not, come to think of it. Oh, nice, we poisoned them. Not that it really does much. This guy's undead, right? Okay, let's try it out. Champion on all three of these guys. Actually, I wonder, can I... Okay, I can only target either the enemies or the party. It'd be kind of funny if I could target just everyone. Oh, well, there you go. It worked. It was absolutely not efficient, but it worked. Then again, like the the you know bigger heals on Selen might actually be a little more worthwhile. Like focus on when I might have killed it. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, a bunch of cracked walls here. Can I just use... Yes! Can use the hammer, please. It's faster than, uh... Faster than using the, um... The bombs, which I think would have also worked. Revive armor, that sounds exciting. Oh heck, look at that. You had you had a couple of upgrades. So obviously the revive armor revives. See, that's another thing that I need to remember to do after um after buying a bunch of equipment is just like I was, I was gonna say, like, who gets credit for that one? But yeah, just try, like, best to whip on everyone and see, uh...
How do you kill an armor? I mean, we've had to do it a couple of times in these games. Usually those armors are haunted, but I don't think this one is. Actually, like, the fact that, um, the fact that they mirror means that you absolutely want to cast healing magic on them if you're casting magic at all, because if it bounces off, then you just get hit with healing magic. <laughs> so it's basically win-win. Don't have the key. Uh, Garf looks like he has shadow attribute. Uh, that looks like shadow to me. On the, uh, yeah, dark. Has he got, uh, soil instead of earth, I guess? Fire, light, wind, water, dark, and the middle is neutral. Not good against undead. Do we have the light now? Yeah, we do. It's Foose! He was level 22 and probably it will not really be able to do much. Now well, let's uh, let's see if we can uh, eat a couple of things here. I feel like Mad Edge is something that we just got recently. I don't have any launchers, but we can probably feed you another bottle driver. We don't have any launchers, and we can probably feed you this hammer rod. Gauntlet. Let me cycle that out. There we go. Our jacket. Oh, you have expensive taste, don't you? Have a metal coat. You don't want it? Too bad. Buy pliers, I have that. Trick ring. And this one will appear. And this multi sword. And this flying axe. There we go. This is the first one to, to rank three. Go update the thing. Uh, move your capsules. This V3. Save. <laughs> so I, I asked the question of um, which of the uh, which of the two brothers uh, Zero and J-Pop is Bret Hart, and which one is Owen Hart, and uh, Z and uh, J-Pop is uh, is positioning himself as Bret Hart. I'm the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. But then didn't actually react to um, the image that I posted, which was the thing that I wanted him to see. And the thing that you guys will get to see at some point. Uh, 
you know what? I want a horse rock. I have one. I'm going to keep going until she asks for something that I don't have. There we go. Okay, um, by the way, what level did that make you? Yeah, you're still level 22. Great. So, we're probably not gonna get a whole lot of help from Foos, but no. She's a little better equipped now, at the very least. But stop! Jerk. We'll level up fast as long as they don't attack. Oh good. Prayer missed, and then they attacked her, so she's getting no experience. I'm glad I spent all of that time getting Foos to, to rank 3, and then nothing. Prayer is a detox? Well, friggin'. She needs to cast that when we have bad statuses on, not when we are perfectly fine. Come over here. I come over here. No. Yeah. Probably, uh, invisible wall. Okay, Foos might survive this. Foos gets a level up. Stand there. Maybe this has something to do with it. I mean, that was a pretty easy puzzle. Giga brain. I'm, well, crap. I'm gonna need that Giga Brain in the event that I end up playing uh, Tunic for uh, Super Shuffle. Because that is an option now. And um, considering that there is a new version out uh, yesterday. Yeah, Jan uh, April 1st seems like a really questionable time to actually put out a new version of something. But also you need to consider the fact that um, Archipelago was originally released on April 1st three years ago, so that makes it an anniversary release. Goodness knows, some people get to release on their anniversary. 
no further comment. And there was definitely a chance that uh, Rando Tunic would end up being pretty difficult, but uh, I mean, I've done dumber things than that. is the norm when there's a new version of Archipelago. Um, if there is at least one game that I'm interested in uh, on the new version, then I will be using a YAML that guarantees that I'm playing the new game. Uh, and there is at least three? Possibly? I have to double check the list. There's two for sure. There might be two. And like one thing that I would like to do, but then, you know, no promises. Uh, since neither Zero nor J-Pop are going to be streaming on uh, Thursday or Wednesday, respectively. Um, I might do, like, an extra stream if I'm feeling it. Uh, starting earlier than I usually would. And give Landstalker a try. Cause, like, I looked at that game briefly. And, like, it seems kind of interesting. But, like, I would need to at least try it out before I uh, do it on Rando. Yeah, I realize that it's extremely late for you. But, like, the problem is, if we, like... Nobody really wins. It's either the West Coast group ends up doing it extremely early, or you do it extremely late. So yeah, time zones are kind of a fuck. really hoping that I would get in uh, first on him, but uh, that did not happen. Oh, really? So a guy either... I either missed or did no damage, but like, if he ended up doing no damage, then that's a kind of a huge problem, and I probably just need to run away. Because these guys also get like 70,000 attacks. Hmm. Uh, they might be immune to that damage type. I guess it's Thunder. Let's try this. I don't know if that'll work any better. Are they undead? Yeah, Bite definitely... Definitely has Bite. I, I, I would like to get some experience is the thing, so... There we go. And 
guy even levels up. And they really like their uh, candle effects, don't they? Well, as long as they're not trying to summon Candlejack, because like all you need to do is like say the name Candlejack, and all of us. It's not break time. I was, uh, I was trying to do a job. Which is only going to be funny if you watched Freakazoid. But it was many years ago. Fair. Oh, the the joke is that one of the uh, enemies of the week um, was named Candlejack, and like the whole joke was that if you say Candlejack, then a few seconds later you disappear. Often in mid-sentence. Ooh. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, bolt attack. Okay. I misread that as butt attack. Which, you know, considering she's butt naked, would make sense. Now, I can't imagine that um, they would put another uh, another dragon egg here. Hey. Hi. I'm not going to deal with you yet. I'm going to go over here. Well, there was a 50-50 chance I get in first, but unfortunately, it didn't happen. Ah, uh, man, Goose is not having a good time. Free power source. Also, three free brave, uh, three brave sources. Uh, let's just give them to you. No real reason. Get bright armor. that goes on. Well, I guess that helps Maxi. And Guy can have the revive armor, which means he actually had he actually have the you know big muscle man um, is able to revive someone. I have a good eye for secrets sometimes. Just that uh this this game sometimes like 
isn't as clear as I'd like it to be. Anyway, let's see who can, who can equip this uh, demon jewel. Hmm. That's a lot of attack. I lose the defense, strength, and agility. That's a lot of attack. And it might also be curse. And if anyone's gonna wear it, it should be guy. Is it curse though? You know what? I'm gonna hold on to it until I'm somewhere where I can safely uncurse it if I need to. Well, I thank you for turning around and having that not matter at all because I can't get in first. Yeah, I, I don't need to experiment now at the very least. I can wait until I'm back in town. Trying to optimize my healing. Just for good measure, hit these. I didn't think there would be anything there, but I... Sometimes... We just want to be sure, you know? Oh boy! We started with three enemies, and now we have four. Yeah, he knows. Hey, you do have champions. Oh, okay. They're undead tamers, but they themselves are not undead, so I just friggin' healed them to full. This make things even harder for me. At least we're not really affected by Bolt. I wonder if you're undead. Let's uh, let's experiment. Let's do a science. You know what, you're not immune to getting a lid on fire. Oh, okay. I didn't account for the mirror, but you know, I still just healed myself. It's fine. Vampire casts vampire. Okay, that might be a bit more of a problem on Artea, actually. Okay, you need to stop that. Oh, 
Oh boy, this fight ain't going great, is it? Okay, you kill him. Um, you go for him. You're gonna heal the party. Specifically these two. And then you're going to champion the death skulls. I mean, I'm sure Fry is a good spell, but like, Artea's been uh, vampired twice this fight and uh, does not have Absorb, so that's, yeah, a bit of a problem. Man, this is a rough fight. Like, it may as well be a boss. You know what would be funny though? If, like, I were to, like, put Mirror on Artea and then have Selen cast Absorb on Artea, have it bounce back to Selen and thus uh, transfer MP from Selen to Artea. I don't, I don't think it would work that way, but it would be cool if it did. Do I have Mirror? We're gonna try this if we can. Uh, if we do, Maxim doesn't have it. Okay, Mirror. On Artea. Just Artea. Artea Defense. Oh, right. I did the dumb thing. Okay, you do that. Um, you're going to champion on these three. Selen, you're going to attempt to absorb on Artea. And Artea uh, attack Death Skull. We're doing science, guys. That apparently did nothing. It made the number 95 show up, and that's about it. I didn't expect that to work, but it would have been funny if it did. Carpet without wrinkles goes well with this room. Remember to iron, everyone. Ah, 
<sighs> I didn't need to use items after all. Now where's that block? We need to do more ironing. I feel the energy. Odious humans! I detest them! This is the form of energy. The energy of sheer hatred. The totally negative power. Why is there such a thing floating around here? I sense some kind of power has drawn it into this world. That could be... Detestable humans! I mean, it probably is, yeah. Sudden cure. I, I like the, the sound of that. So this is definitely something that would probably work out better on Guy, actually. Because he has the highest uh, HP pool. Pretty strong uh, attack, actually. I don't know that I would call it fry, but you know. I think I have one that increases uh, attack power, right? I thought I did. Mm -hmm. No, maybe not. I wonder if this is a flying enemy. See if this uh, if this IP restore uh, does any damage. Oh my goodness! Did you see how much damage that did? And look at how much IP that costs. That was nothing. Let's do that again. for the I feel like we trivialized that boss. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, lots of gold. And Selen definitely deserves that level up, and Foos definitely needs that level up. Oh, yes! 
Hey, isn't it still alive? No, the energy forms are all broken. I won't. I wouldn't let it suffer any longer. Oh, hovering entities, be released from suffering. Bless the entities with the sacred energy. Have they been put to rest? I just help them. Then accept the gods can truly grant rest. Gods? Yeah, so, uh... That was easy. <laughs> Get the cursed bow. Hmm. I wonder if this item is cursed. Also, is there anything else to this? And that definitely seemed like the boss of this area, but like. I don't feel like that progressed the story, did it? I mean, there's one way to find out for sure. I guess I didn't try to hit the orb, but, uh... Oh, there's Iris. There we go. Iris, why are you here? I was waiting for you. Waiting for me? Yes. I wanted to ask you something. Well, if it's okay, I'd like to be alone with you. It's not okay. I didn't ask you. I asked Maxim. I said no, so the answer is no. You don't trust Maxim, is that it? Is the bond between you so weak? That's not true. Why don't you prove it to me? What? South across the ocean stands the city of Dural. The Tower of Truth is west of the city. There you can see the truth. I'll be waiting. If you have the courage, come see me. What does she think she is? Iris seemed different. Definitely not her usual self. Do you know her quite that well, Maxim? <laughs> You're quite the flirt. No, it's not like that. Maxim, are you by any chance? Not you too, Selen. Don't be silly, okay? She's not being silly, Maxim. People can change, you know. Artea? Hmm, you just added fuel to the flames. Deep. Elf's jokes are really deep. Maxim, we're heading for Duralo, alright? Nowhere else. Okay, okay. Goodness. Jealous much? Uh, let's see if there is a magic shop here. City of the South Shrine. Nimiku, as always. Um, there's something about a South Shrine. I kind of want to check that out. I don't know if it's if it's anything, or maybe it's something that we need to come back to later. I don't know, but I want to see if it is something. Check for the buff spell for attack. 
mean, there is a break soon, but I wasn't going to break. Quite yet. Just whisper something into Artea's ear, and all of a sudden he's full of health. Oh my goodness! All these hyper chickens. Positive reinforcements, you can do the thing. Our tail levels up and Foos does too. Oh, okay. It's just, yeah, we, we saw this. Just that uh, we saw it from the other side. Um, well, we've already... Tagged Doral, so we're going to be going right there. Iris Woman is in the West Tower. But what does she want? No go armor, because, uh. Yeah, big time upgrades here. To see something that everyone can equip. Cashola, indeed. Just buy all the things. Wait. Oh, carrying too much. I see. to feed. Large shield. Another large shield. I'm gonna switch around between all of them, see if there's anything that uh, I have that they specifically want. something that uh, no one wants something that I have so you ask for a large shield again jerk. ask for something else okay Foos is uh, obsessed with the large shield unfortunately we don't have them Still wants a large shield, geez. Not a gold shield. More beer. Spike shield. Cape line, there we go. We have that. We have two of those. Um, I 
And don't, don't forget that uh, even if I feed something to, uh, to these critters, I can still get it back at the Island of Forfeit. I fed you the multi-sword before. gets to rank 4, and pretty much entirely because I needed to free up some space. So rank 4 is currently the highest rank they can get. Um, it is possible, of course, to get to rank M, but uh, I don't really know offhand how to get them to rank M. Oh right, I did that whole thing because I was trying to free up a space for this. Nowhere told in the game. Oh, good. They basically just have to rub things together until it works. Cool. No, I do not, Jewel. I will ask for a hint if I want one. Never offer hints. I will ask if I need hints. I don't know why I just stayed in the inn again. I meant to go and save. I can find the save thing. There we go. Alright, so we have our first rank 4 capsule monster. We still have 6 more to go, one of which we haven't even found yet. Almost 20 hours? Yeah, almost 20 hours. And, um, yeah. Uh, now we gotta go meet Iris in the Tower of Truth. Ooh. And we will be doing that right after the break. So y'all can take a moment, get some of the drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And in about 10 to 15 minutes, shall go to the Tower of Truth and hopefully find out the truth. So, I'll see you in a bit.